I'm a big fan of the outfits worn by the Rebel Commandos in the film Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And I've decided I'm going to try and make the helmet that some of them wear. Uh, this is based on the American M1 helmet with some reinforced plating on the outside. Uh, and this video is going to show you how I go about making it. Both the helmet and the reinforced plating are going to be made from these plastic replicas of an American M1 helmet. Uh, now, I've got one where I've left the lining in, that will be the actual helmet itself. And then for the reinforced plating, I need two more helmets and I've removed the lining from each of these. The first stage of construction is to mark up the two helmets that I'm going to use to make the armoured outer ring where I need to cut them. So I've taken a look at as many reference images as I can in guidebooks and on the internet. And from that I've got the basic outline that I've drawn onto both helmets. I've also put markings on where the outer of these two pieces will have to be cut for the detailing at the front. I don't know which of these I'll be using for the inner and outer parts yet, so that's why I've marked up both, because it gives me more options after I've cut them. Here you can see that I've now cut the basic shapes out of these two helmets, and I'm ready to start fitting them around this one. And if I just place that around, you can see that because of the thickness of this plastic, it doesn't sit down as low as it needs to be. It's obviously riding up far too high. And so what I'm going to do is on this one, which I've decided is going to be the inner piece, I'm going to split down the front here so that I'll be able to wrap it all the way around. With the inner piece split down the middle, it now fits neatly around the helmet and I'll just leave about a 20mm gap at the front. Uh, that will be covered by the outer piece and as you can see I have now marked this up with where this needs cutting as well. I've now cut the outer piece of the reinforcing ring uh, and I've just placed it around the helmet and the inner piece so it can give you a rough idea of how it goes together. And you'll notice the pieces don't line up perfectly now that they're bent outwards, it distorts them somewhat. So when I glue them together I, I will then have to trim both halves so that they match properly. Now at the front I had been planning to cut down both of the lines I've marked out you can see the two on the inner piece instead I've only cut down the outer one because the way it spreads out I feel it leaves enough of a gap without needing to take any more out and then when it comes to putting a piece in there I will just use a strip of plastic card along each side first though I'm going to glue the two halves together and then I'm going to trim them so that they match the inner and outer pieces are now glued together, so I've got one solid reinforcing ring that I drop over the helmet, just fits neatly in place. Um, the next pieces I need to add are the plastic card strips to fill in these gaps either side in the front here, and also some ribbing detail at the back here. So at the front now I have just these two curved strips of plastic card to fill in the gaps and leaving a slight indentation either side. And then on the back there is going to be a sort of ribbed section. I've made this longer than it needs to be so I'll just hang it off the bottom of the reinforcing ring and then trim it to fit. And this actually is going to be in two parts because there's a sort of uh, border to that. So I've got a border here. This is a bit longer than the ribbing itself because that will take into account the curvature of it. And the, the outer diameter will be slightly longer than the inner diameter. The ribbing is made from half mil thick plastic card and the frame is made from one millimeter thick plastic card. So now I just need to glue those onto the back of the helmet. With the rear ribbing now glued in place, the construction of the reinforced ring is now complete. All I need to do is go around with some milliput and fill in any gaps and cracks, uh, and then it's ready for painting. 
And at long last, here I have the completed helmet. Uh, I've painted the reinforcing green grey. Uh, I've put some black, uh, this is a, a sweat band from exercising around the outside of it. And the inner helmet itself has been covered in some tan fabric, which includes a sort of ribbed central band. Uh, and that's just taken from a couple of shirts. Um, so this is now ready to be added to a Rebel Scarif Marine costume. Uh, and that does it for this little project. Thanks for watching.